Well, hi folks, this is George Adventure here. Uh, doing some camping, me and my wife, we count just about every month. There's a couple months of the year we don't we don't count, usually November, December, but uh, we, uh, we're we up here at, uh, we're in Georgia and we're up here at Lake Altoona. Uh, this is one of our favorite little campsites right here. It's private, it's on the water, but we, we've been up here since Thursday. Uh, so we've had some good weather. Uh, it was windy Thursday and part of the day Friday. So, but yesterday and today, the weather has been nice. Now it's overcast today. Um, uh, but yesterday it was sunny, but today is the opening of wild turkey season in Georgia. So I got up at 430, got my stuff and I had to drive about a, about 50, 50 something minutes to get to the land I hunt. Uh, didn't have any luck, didn't, didn't take a turkey, but we, uh, me and my brother, we hunt together and we heard a total of five goblin. They were on some other land. Of course, we heard, we heard a gunshot, so we figured one of them, one of them got shot. We heard two, two gobble and they flew down off the roost. Then we heard, uh, heard three more, which sounded like Jake. So, Saw a total of four hens, uh, but anytime you can go go hunting or fishing or camping or whatever, you got a successful day. You've been blessed. Didn't take anything, but you know today's the first day of the season, so so I drove back to the campsite here, and I'm sitting sitting by the fire. It's good fire fire weather. Uh, you can see, and that's our camper. We uh. We've had this camper about five years. It's a wildwood. It's, it's, it's a 17 RBXL, which the RBXL means rear bathroom extra large. Uh, the living space is 17 feet. Total total length of the camper is, is 20, right at 23. But uh, so we've always been tent campers. That's what I pull it with. We've always been tent campers. Uh, the reason my wife's car is here because she just came from work Thursday, I I pulled the camper over here, but um, so you can see, it's really, really a beautiful campsite. That's our view. I didn't, I usually bring an easy up foot right there, but I didn't because of the wind. So, so we decided to put the awning out about an hour ago. Uh, but our little setup, you know, we're pretty simple. Uh, we've got a, uh, my, my daughter's got me this black stone right here. And uh, it, uh, I've used it twice. And still, still have plenty in this propane tank. So I cooked, I cooked some hot dogs and onions on it last night and I cooked breakfast on it. Well, I say breakfast, it was right at lunchtime, but we had breakfast for lunch. So, so far this thing has worked out good. You can see the grease catcher. Uh, so this is our little wash table. That's one of the ways you can save water in your gray tank is to have your little little outside dishwashing station like this. There's some more boats. You can see that's part of the Altoona Mountains right there. That and that. I grew up on this lake. I grew up on Lake Altoona uh, camping in Victoria landing with my parents <clears throat> but back then there wasn't any electricity you just basically had a picnic table and a place to put your uh, tent but this is this is our second time at this this uh, camping spot we're in a cove uh, but it's a beautiful beautiful place man we enjoy it uh, like I said we we enjoy the camping but this place, all the campsites are spread out. You have a lot of privacy and it's very wooded. There's a lot of deer up here, a lot of wildlife you see. Uh, birds, we had some geese actually came up. They came up right there yesterday morning and walked. Um, but that's my tow truck. That's an F-150 that I pull this with. Pulls it good. You know, this thing's about, loaded about 4,500 pounds, but my wife wanted a camper. She got tired of sleeping in tents, you know, because 
you don't sleep that great. I can sleep in them. I ain't got no problem because I grew up sleeping in them. But she, uh, she said something about a camper, so I said, well, if it'll make you enjoy camping more, we'll get one. So we got one. Uh, and so we've enjoyed it. This is our fifth year to have this camper. And we, we go, you know, we've been to Myrtle Beach, Indian Pass, Florida, we've been to Alabama in it. We go all over Georgia in it. Uh, so we've really enjoyed it. Uh, she painted that door. She wanted that door that color. So I just have to put new Goodyear tires on it. But uh, we enjoy it. We enjoy camping. I think everybody should go camping, take their children camping, sit by the fire. Uh, we just, uh, you know, we we sit around and and uh, you know we we sit by the fire. We eat good. We, you know, we we cook. I like to cook. I'll cook on the I cook on the fire a lot. And I cook on that griddle, uh, but I do cook on the fire. Uh, also brought my kangaroo. Uh, I've had this about two weeks. And I've used it to cook with, cut up onions. Uh, I've used it, you know, I carried it turkey hunting with me. I'm hoping I'm gonna get to clean the turkey with it, but. So this this is my new EDC, Everyday Carry Knife. And so far, I tell you, I love it. You know I had to do a little knife talk. You know, I, if you watch my channels, you know my channel, you know I love knives. So had to do a little knife talk. Uh, but it's an SE knife. Stainless steel. I love the handle. You know, I did a, did a somewhat of a review on it. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, a better review maybe at the end of the year probably. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through turkey season and I'm going to go through fishing season. Kayak fishing. I'm going to, you know, as soon as turkey season's over, I'll be kayak fishing. And I'll do some up here. I'll do some at Clark's Creek. Uh, but I've got this, you know, I've got this knife with me. Uh, so, and I'm going to show you another, I'm going to show you another essay I have, since we're talking knives, uh, might as well. Uh, this is where I keep a lot of my, a lot of my stuff in, and the reason it looks like this, because my wife's painted it, and we got to put another coat, but it's peeling right here, so we're going to have to put some primer and repaint it, because they were white, they were white doors, but one of the things I carry is a Fisker's. Fisker's axe, and I, I carry that camping. But uh, I carry this. Uh, carry this Essie. An Essie 6. Uh, and this Essie 6, I've had this thing for years. Years. I got it off, uh, I think it was called Blade Form. And uh, as you can see, it's beat up. It's uh. It's been used a lot. Uh, this this knife is a beast. It's heavy duty, six inches. Uh, it's an SC6. But uh, this knife is this knife has been through it. Uh, it's got uh, Micarta handles, full tang. I've got to sharpen it though. It's just still pretty sharp. But I use it to baton wood. I use it like batoning wood to to make some kindling wood like this. I did a whole stump. One of those stumps right there. I did it Did it with this and the hatchet. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you want a, if you want a good a good made knife, get you an Essie. They're great. This has got 1095 carbon steel. Uh, it's got some health to it. You can see how thick the blade is. It's not as thick as the SC5, but it's thick. It's a good, it's a good chopper. Uh, but it's it's a it's a it's a great knife. Uh, so we, uh, you know, we have some gear. You have to have certain things on your camper when you go. Uh, we we carry tubs. I carry tubs right there with with firewood in them. Plus, I have some in my truck. But one of the tubs has. One of the tubs has fat lighter and kindling wood uh, in it. Uh, I've got this. I've got this little bag here, and it's got fat lighter. 
you always want to carry a pair of leather gloves if you're gonna you know if you're gonna start fires and stuff camping I always want to carry a leather glove and there's just there's some kindling uh, but anyway that's just our camp set up sun's trying to come out now so a lot of people out here uh, on the lake today not not a lot but summertime this lake gets crowded a lot of people fishing I saw a fish jump up right out there this morning when I got back right past that little bush right there so there goes a the guy fishing but uh, you know if you if you like the outdoors and you want to get your wife out camping if she don't want a camp tent if you can afford it get you a camper you don't have to get a big one a big fifth wheel uh, you know it's just me and my wife there she is it's just me and my wife so we uh you know we spend a lot of time the grandkids will come with us sometimes we do go with her, my daughter we, they got a camper we go with them to florida so you know get out build you a fire have a great time just have a good time man it's just it's just wonderful uh, enjoy the wildlife look at that i just noticed that yesterday that that pink pinkish purplish flower coming out of that tree right there it's actually a redbud tree but uh somebody built a little trail right there but they've 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 uh upgraded some stuff in this camps in these campsites some electrical stuff but uh anyway uh So, camping, great, great time. Uh, if you like to camp, of course you can rough it. I've roughed it before. I've been on survival camps. I've been tent camping. I've camped on the ground with a sleeping bag. I've camped in a, in a homemade shelter I've made. I've camped in tents. So, you know, just whatever, whatever you enjoy. A lot of people say camper camping isn't camping. But camper camping is camping. It's just it's just portable, and we don't we don't stay in our camper. The only time we go in our camper is when it's time for bed, and we'll go to bed. You know we don't we don't even cook in it. We don't even cook in our camper. We do all of our cooking outside. Uh, and I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a review on that Blackstone right over there. So I'll I'll do that. But anyway, no luck this morning turkey hunting. Mossy Oak, so no luck this morning. So I'm gonna get off of here. And uh, if you enjoy this video, enjoy my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell. So this is George Adventure. I will see you next time.